Welcome back everyone. This is video three, video three of Just a Closer Walk with Thee. This specific video will talk more and deal more with the left hand um, that mimics um, an acoustic upright bass or a bass guitar that would be in support of our melody or soloist uh, that we're accompanying. So that's what we're going to talk about in video three. Make sure that you have gone back and watched video two, and uh, that would be video 2A and 2B, to make sure that you have a good grasp of the concepts that we're now going to move forward and talk about. So this is video three, just a closer walk with D and B flat, and we're talking about the left hand. So let's just review quickly our B flat scale since we're in the key of B flat. So B flat is one. C natural is 2, D natural is 3, E flat is 4, F natural is 5, G natural is 6, A, A natural is 7, and then an octave up B flat could be called 8. So you have 1, 5, 1, or 8. And then, remember, we talked about a 13th chord, and how we find that was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so those are our numbers and letter names. So the left hand in mimicking an upright bass, this is just a very simple start. Um, it would begin with one and primarily deal with one and five. So your bass, upright bass, would play a one and then most likely play a five after that. And this helps fill up some time in the middle of the song so that it doesn't become monotonous or boring. So make sure you can do that and do that well between the B flat and the F natural, one and five, because we'll be using that a lot. Okay, some other uh, notes in the song that we'll be using as we progress in video three, B two. So they have one, two. A um, couple of other ones would be four, which would be your E flat, would be four. sharp would be E natural, that's four sharp, because it's four, and then raised chromatically a half step, okay? But we'll primarily just start off dealing with B flat and F for now. So let's put this into practice as we just play one note in the right hand, which will be the melody, just a closer walk with D. And then we're just going to alternate back and forth very slowly with our um, upright bass being mimicked in the left hand by one and five. And I'm trying to keep my fingers back out of the way so that you have a clear view of which notes are actually being used. So that's why my hands are positioned the way they are. All right, just a closer walk from the very beginning. Slowly, one, two, three, four, go. So you noticed our little rocking back and forth, left and right pattern in the left hand. Let's just go over those one more time. Just a closer walk. B flat, 
F, B flat, F, C, E flat, F again. B flat and G. E natural and G now. F natural and D natural. F7. Today I'm having a mental block for some reason getting the last couple of notes. But nonetheless, okay, so rocking back and forth motion. Now the reason I'm doing it slowly this way and in this fashion is because what we will later do uh, in another video is going back and we're going to um, work those tenths. And if you go back at this point and you watch the demo again, you will see um, those tenths, and you will see me in action use um, those um, other parts of the chord. So the one, the five, and the ten, and that how they move. on that. And in video 3B, which will be coming up very shortly, we're going to talk about, instead of just alternating two notes, we're going to be talking about go ahead and utilizing spreading the whole tenth with our hands. All right, so that's the next video, video 3B. But for now, let's just run it one more time for our video 3A, alternating left, right hand to mimic the upright bass. Here we go. One, two, three, four. B flat and F, B flat, F, C natural and E flat, F and E flat, B natural, D natural, C natural, E flat. F natural E flat. E flat and G natural. E natural and G natural. Okay. Good job. There you go. Okay, that's all the time we have now for that one. I just review the 3B, and I always welcome your questions and insight and um, appreci appreciation. Piano Ryland at gmail.com. Piano Ryland at gmail.com. As always, this is not the way, it is a way to look at just a closer walk with me.